Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us, I'll say us this time, David and myself, for what is the last sports editing collaboration. Um, just to go over last week's update, we're gonna accept any image from now on to edit, whether it's a landscape image to remove objects, to clone objects in, you know, sunsets, anything like that, anything that you've got, portraits, anything. Send it in and give me and David a really good head-to-head -head test on, on a proper edit, you know. So uh, with sports, it's mainly how we would crop it, a uh, bit of colour and lightning and whatever. We obviously, you don't really remove and add objects, but with, with landscapes and that, you can use luminosity masks, you can use all sorts, you know, all your tones and different bits and bobs, removing telegraph poles, anything. So, yeah, have a look through your archives and see what landscapes you've got or any other image. Open to everyone now, send in your image. The email address for David and myself will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, we look forward to doing episode five with uh, a nice array of different images. So yeah, looking forward to that. Anyway, back to episode four, last one of the sports. Let's crack on. Right, let's get cracking with episode number four. This netball image comes from Nick Browning. Thanks for sending it in, Nick. Right, first off, let's go for a crop. And I'm gonna leave my ratios out again so I can just drag it willy-nilly. I'm gonna go for a more of a portrait, and I think it's quite important to leave some of the net in. It's just a shame that some of the ball's missing, but never mind, still a good action shot. Just take that up there a bit. Go on, up there a bit. Go on. No. Oh, not that much. This laptop hates screen recording. Take it down a bit to there. That's it. Why have you gone down there as well? Right, job's good. And so I'm just going to get horizon wise. This might not be quite vertical, so I'm going to go with the backdrop. So I'm just going to get that backdrop sorted. Something like that. We have to bring that down a bit, look. It's just chopped off the top edge of the frame and again the bottom here. Go up there a bit, that's it, cool, it's sticky. Right, I'm gonna leave a bit of that net in. Let's have a look how that looks balanced wise. Perhaps just take a little bit off. We don't need much net, but just a little bit. We know what's going on, but it's nice to know how close they are to the net. Right, spot on, let's have a look at that. Right, I've got a few actions again. So in this first action, I've just got um, contrast and brightness so let's just hit that and see how it does yeah that's not bad I might just add to it a bit let's just take that down a little bit that's nice again it's indoors it's always tricky indoors bit of bit of noise there but we'll, we'll try and reduce that in a, a bit that's it I'm just looking at the obviously the netball and the color tone the skin tones here that's what's just trying to reduce reduce them a little bit, so that's looking quite nice now. That's looking okay. Okay to that. I'm just gonna try a bit of colour balance. So that's command B. It's a shortcut. I'm just gonna try a bit of colour balance, see if it needs anything. Again, just, yeah, I think it's just bringing the natural tones out a bit, giving it a little bit of high tone blue. So we'll leave it about there. When I'm using the high tone blue, if you look at the ball and the skin tones, they go from yellow, a tone of yellow, to a more of a white with the blue highlight. So, just going to leave it like that. So, jobs are good at it. Right. So, I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to go into camera raw quickly. Just going to try and take a bit of the noise out with the luminance tool. So, hit these two triangles here. I'm just going to drag that up a little bit, see if we can get a little bit of noise out. Let's have a look at that. Come on laptop, you are slow today, flipping out. So command plus, just going to go in a bit. Yeah, that's looking all right. She looks quite sharp actually. I'm not going to add any sharpness to it. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Hit the FN key and the F key. Just gives you a black screen. Just zoom that in a bit. Yeah, that looks nice at that. Job's good and we'll go with that. Your turn, Mr. Lightroom. <laughs> okay, the first image by Nick Browning. Now, I've never shot 
uh, netball, but I'm pretty sure that this needs to be in the frame. However, the cropping that we have uh, is a bit hard to keep the post, the net and the ball because they're already cut off. You can see the ball's already cut off. Now, what I'm going to try to do is see if a one to one ratio works in this case, but I'm still going to have to flip the image a little bit because it's not the horizon's not level. I'm going to base myself off of the post. And you see if I include the post, even if it's just a little bit, then the leg starts to be cut off even more. If I include the leg, I lose the post. So I think I'm going to have to go for a happy medium somehow, uh, something like this. So yeah, for the crop, I would go something like this. And I'm not happy with that. So let's not do that. Let's go as shot see if we like that better still don't like it yeah I don't like it at all if I go in I lose even more yeah okay that's gonna have to do it that's gonna have to do it now let's go for the editing itself exposure wise so far it looks okay So let's just start working on the usual suspects on there shadows raise them a little bit yeah like so whites yeah I, it'd be fun to shoot uh, this game I, I have no idea what the rules are or anything like that um, but shooting games that you don't know can be a challenge because you have no idea what's going on. So yeah, if I were to shoot a netball game, I'd have to look up the rules, check out some games first to understand and predict the action as much as possible. Know where to position myself, etc. Okay, so anyway, going back to the picture. I don't think there is much more I can do to this image. Let's see what it was shot with. It doesn't say. Okay. So let's see the before and after. Yeah. Okay. Let's check. Yeah. Before and after. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah. I'd be happy with this. To be honest, I wouldn't touch it much more. Um, thank you for submitting the, the picture, Nick. No cheating today, Mark, so back to you. Right, let's get going with this uh, great image from Vladimir Koshkarov. Hopefully I pronounced that right, Vladimir. Thanks for sending it in. Right, great football image here. So again, I'm going to leave the constraints bare. So let's go for... Portrait crop. I'm just going to start by leaving this player behind him in because he is chasing play. But I don't know if I'm going to leave him in. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at that. Let's leave a bit of space there. Let's get them horizons. We're going to go with that concrete. I'm just looking at this angle here for the horizon. So that's about right, I think. This will be leading away a bit, this concrete wall, but it's that vertical stanchion that I'm looking at. So I'm just going to bring that into play a minute. And just straighten it up on that let's just go that way I'm just looking at the grass as well we'll just take it round a bit that'll do let's just take that back to there like that let's give the player some room to jump into a bit just go right on the edge of that player's foot it's not essential that he's in the frame but I'm just going to leave it like that for the minute let's just see how that looks we'll click that Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if I can bring him in a bit more. Let's perhaps lose his leg and take this up a bit. We want to give a bit of element of jumping still in it. And now that I've lost that stanchion, I'm actually going to level off with the grass. So let's level that off a bit. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's tight because the play is so tight in the frame. Let's just double click that and have a look at that. Uh, left a bit there now, look. Let's go back with it. So Command Alt Z takes it back a step. So let's go in again. Let's take it in. 
tell you what, let's chop the arm off that player. He is chasing play, but he's not he's not as important as the player jumping, I don't think. So let's take that up a bit as well. We still want this space here to show the element of the height that he's jumped at. I'm just going to, now we've lost that vertical bit of concrete, I'm just going to take that in like that. That's not bad at that. You can still see that player. It's a shame that player's there because he would really stick out then. Um, yeah, ah, it's a difficult one. This looking at two minutes twenty. Right. Oh dear. I'm just going to take it in a bit more. <laughs> I'm going to pinch a bit more. I want to emphasise the player more than anything. Let's just go up again a little bit. Shame we haven't got anything to play with up here, but never mind. Right. Let's go in. Now then, the image to me is really green, so I'm going to try and add some blues. Perhaps a little bit of magenta, not too much. Just take that green out a bit. Let's have a look at levels. Command L is the shortcut for levels. Just going to take it down a bit. That's okay. Uh, can we sharpen it? Ah, oh, two minutes fifty-six already. Crikey! No, I'm not going to sharpen it. I am going to go for a bit of luminance, so to try and take a little bit of noise out. So into camera raw. Three minutes five seconds. Crikey! Into luminance. I'm just going to drag that up, probably to about fifteen. Okay, that. Oh, look, there's David. <laughs> Let me turn my Wi Fi off. Oh dear, turn my Wi Fi off. Thanks, David. I forgot to turn my Wi Fi off. Yeah, it's very slow, actually, David. <laughs> my times, anyway. Right, I'm quite happy with that, actually. Um, not a lot else we can do with it. And I am at 3 minutes 34, so. Ah. Uh, I think that's about all we can do. Let's leave it at that. 3 minutes 41. Crikey. That'll do us. I want to keep that bit of space in there of him jumping. That player is important, but not overly important because he's chasing play. So, yeah, that'll do us. Okay, and the next one is by Vladimir Koshkarov. I hope I pronounced that remotely okay ish. Um, Canon 5, 5D Mark III. I look at this and say, I recognize this jersey. So I zoomed in, say, Getafe, okay, Spain. Then I see the Europa League um, logo. I have no idea who these guys are, but I went and checked with the date. So this is Krasnodar, so for the Europa League, and Getafe won 2 1 away. Um, anyway, let's get on with the picture. So, crop wise, obviously, I'm going to have to use the space below, but let's start editing the picture first. I think it feels a little bit underexposed at the moment. Contrast, it's gonna be hard. M much of the colors are the same, but um, let's start slow and then we will go back there if we need to. But yeah, Europa League, Champions League, any league right now would do, to be honest. I think we're all missing some action. Some of the leagues are starting, some aren't, some have been cancelled. It's all over the place. I think, to be honest, money speaks louder than anything else. But we'll see. Okay, so, clarity. Not that much noise, so. Just a little bit. Uh, do I want some vibrance? A little bit. Yeah, removing a little bit of saturation too. Let's actually go to the lens correction in this case, because it is a raw file after all. Yeah, okay. You can see the warping a little bit. Now, crop-wise, look at his head. That's going to be hard. Yeah. When they're so close to the, to the end of the frame, it's hard to, to crop it without cheating. Like, in this case, it, it might not be too hard to create, so to speak, public above his head because it's all out of focus anyway. But I'm going to stick with no cheating because that didn't go well last time. And I'll just go with a one-to-one -one crop, even though I'm not too happy that the room above his head is so tiny. 
this is probably how I would crop this picture. Now temperature wise, feels just a little off. Let me see. No. Okay, I'm not gonna change it too much more. So I think this would be my edit for the picture. Let's check the before and the after. Before and after. And yep, thank you Vladimir for submitting a photo. Right, nice rugby image here from Richard Eason. Thanks for sending it in, Richard. Right, let's go straight to crop. No, no constraints again. And I want to keep that player in for a start. Let's see how we look on the one on the floor that's obviously made a tackle. Uh, let's leave him in because he's looking at play. Might just take that down a bit to about there. Right, let's go right up now to the base where he is. That play is still a bit central. I'm just going to take the whole lot that way a bit, leaving these two players in central sort of area of the crop. Um, horizon, do you go with that? I think because we haven't got the top of the brick wall, but we have got the grass, which looks about right there. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. I wonder if we can go a bit tighter. Do we need the chap on the floor? As long as we can see him on the floor, that he's made a tackle. I think that's... And this lad here as well, he's obviously made a tackle earlier on, so we'll leave him in. Might just go down a bit and just chop, I don't know, he's not really in place. I'm just going to chop his head a little bit. Perhaps square it off. A bit. He is looking at play, but it's not essential. Let's just double click on that and have a look at that. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. A bit of space here, but we've got this player here looking as well, and the ball looks like it's being received from this area, so that's okay. He's obviously in play. Now I've got my football action, which I've set up, so let's just go F2, see how that looks. Oh, that's not bad, actually. That's not too bad. Still a bit bright, perhaps. Let's just take the shadows. Down a bit. That's not too bad at all. What's the sharpening line? Yeah, that's okay. A little bit of motion blur on the ball, but that's all right. But the players are quite sharp. Let's just try a bit of sharpening. Crikey, one minute 57. Uh, 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 ooh, let's go into unsharp mask. 1.5. So I'm going to leave it at that. That's okay. Right, let's just go out one. Are we happy with the colours? Command U takes you to your shortcuts. Let's give that eight. Hmm. Command-Alt-Z takes it back a step. That's got a bit of punch to it. That has. I might even just see what it's like with clarity. 2 minutes 27. Heck. Let's just try a little bit of clarity and see. Not too much. Let's give it 20. That'll do. We've got him in. We've got him in. He's just looking, but he's not really in play. These two are central. Bit of space here where he's jumped. Yeah, two minutes 50, done. Yeah, happy with that. Two minutes 50, let's get that saved. Okay, so picture submitted by Richard Eason. Now, feels a little bit flat, the color, so we're gonna have to work on that, definitely. Let's start with a crop, though. And look at this guy, must be really enjoying the game. Um, I'm just kidding. Now, <clears throat> If this guy's hand was not here, I could have cropped with this guy completely on the picture, but I'd rather, see that's the dilemma, cut off this guy's foot or leave that hand in. I think I'm going to cut off a little bit of the foot so I, there's no just weird hand hanging in there. Now horizon wise looking at the grass at the very end near the what I assume is a wall. Uh, Yeah, something like this, maybe. Okay, so now let's work on the on the picture. So I want a lot more contrast on this picture than what I would usually go for, because I feel that this picture, like I said, the, the colors are just flat. 
So we need to bring it back a little bit. No. I have to raise the exposure a little bit later, but we'll see. Okay, let me see. Okay, it's starting to get there, I think. Clarity, yes. Definitely on this one. Actually go a little bit further than I usually go. Don't want to overdo it though, because then it starts looking really weird, really fast. Saturation, eh, not too much. Vibrance, a little. Okay, so now let's work on the exposure. Just a little bit. Yeah, something like that. I think I'm happy with that, to be honest. Let's just check the horizon once again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd be happy with this. I think it's, it pops a lot more than before. So this is the before, and this is the after. You want to see it side by side. Left is the original, on the right is my edit. And yeah, I think I'm done with this one. Thank you very much for submitting the picture, Richard. Right, let's have a look at this one. Good boxing image from Gordon Kalich. I think it's Kalich. Thanks, Gordon. Quite a test of this one. There always is when you're doing boxing, because everything's so low light. Right, let's go for a crop again. Again, I'm going to leave the constraints. I'm going to leave that spotlight in. Quite like that, sort of spotlight. Let's have him top left corner. Right, let's go for a, a bit of a crop. Um, let's go with the spotlight stand as our horizon, I think. The angle that Gordon's at here. So let's go for something like that. Let's have a look at that. Now in boxing it's so difficult because you've nearly always got a back facing you in the frame so I'm not overly fussed about that. I might just bring that in a little bit. Sort of get both bodies, both heads sort of central in the frame. What's that look like? Uh, let's just bring this, I want to leave that spotlight in a bit if I can. I quite like that. Let's bring it into the corner a bit. Again, this tattoo's quite cool, actually. Right, we have got a heck of a lot of noise in that, which is understandable with it being indoors. Boxing is always poorly lit anyway. So let's go straight into camera raw and go into the luminance and let's see what we can do with it. Let's take it right up. Let's go to 70. That's actually done. A brilliant job. Let's go to 80 even. I know it softens the image, but it takes so much noise out, that luminance tool. It's fantastic, that is. Now, just as a... I'm just going to be curious and go to a sharpening tool and try and resharpen it. And I'm actually going to leave it at that. We've still got less noise in that frame than before. Quite like that. I'm going to mess about with the levels now a bit and just take the levels down. I'm going to keep going down. Keep going down. I'm happy with about that actually. I like this little spotlight here as well. Do we need any? No, I don't think so. Let's just leave it at that. Two minutes six already. Right, colours. I'll tell you what, I reckon this would look quite nice black and white, but no, 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 no. Let's go minus ten. Just looking at the reds. Just leave it at minus four. I might just take it up a bit. I don't know. Let's just have to take it up to there. See, no, no, we've got to balance it out. We've got to balance it out. Let's go back. Let's leave it as a square crop. Might just take a little bit in there. I'm not sure if this is quite vertical. Let's have a look. I'm being a bit picky, but let's take it to that. I like that being in the corner. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Let's just have a look at contrast. That's not too bad. Right, I'm just going to go into colour tones, three minutes, crank it. See if we can. No, it's a bit too blue at that. I wonder if. That's not too bad, because the old boxes do get really some proper red marks where they've been hit on their skin. So I'm just trying to bring that out a bit. 
let's go with that. Let's go before Command Alt Z, and then go Command Shift Z. Yeah, that's it's brought some pinks out in the skin, and I think that's important with it being boxing. A few of the bits where they've been hit, you know. So we'll leave it at that. So I'm quite happy with that. I don't want to mess about with the luminance anymore. I'm not sure if we could. I think if we try and take any of this magenta out, let's just go and choose our magentas only. I think it's going to affect them skin. Obviously, that's massive. No, that's not too bad, actually. I might leave that at minus. Let's just OK that. Control Alt Z. Yeah, it's just taken some magenta out the ceiling there a bit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And it's not really affected these colours too much. Right, that's four minutes for me. That'll do. Job's a good one. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm going to... I've just noticed these dead pixels that are obviously in the camera body. We all get them. That's interesting, that is. Pleased to spot them. So I'm going to go to the spot healing brush. And I'm just going to use my square bracket tool just to hover over it, click it, and gone. <laughs> That's on my laptop screen. That's better anyway. Right. I wonder about that there. I'm being really picky now, but let's just... Control Alt Z. I'm being really picky here, guys, but I'm just going to have another go at that. Yeah, that's okay. About that purple bit there. This is just showing you the spot healing, t healing tool. It's a great tool. Oh, there's another pixel there, look. We've all got dead pixels in our bodies. I know my 1DX has. I'm, really, I'm being really picky here. I'm at five minutes now. I'm fussing a bit, but just showing you the spot healing tool. We'll leave that flare in. That's all right. Right. Happy at that. Five minutes ten. Sorry, guys, but I've just been a bit fussy with the spot healing tool. That'll do us. Job's a good one. Okay, this one's by Gordon Kalish. Now, I can tell it's noisy from the start. Let's go to the library just to check the metadata. You see ISO 12800. So the lighting must have been really poor. Um, so noisy pictures, when they're really, really noisy, I immediately think black and white. Um, so yeah, I think this is gonna be a black and white picture. So let's go. Boom. Now we start working on it. Contrast. Yes, exposure, we'll get to it in just a second. Let's work on the rest first. Highlights. Yeah, let's remove those. And this is where you just need to really look at what you're doing, look at the picture and get to a point that you like, really. It's not much more than that. Thing with black and white is that it's a bit more accepted that there's noise, at least that's how I feel. Maybe it's, I don't know why, maybe it's because it reminds you of older pictures when grain or noise, whatever you want to call it, was part of it anyway. So maybe that's why, I don't know. And to be honest, in some pictures, grain or noise gives it another touch. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, I don't think. Okay, so I do like how it's looking. The cropping though, there's no way I'm gonna be straightening this horizon. You can see that little guy taking a picture. I wonder what view he had. Now, do I want to keep the flare in from the light or not? Definitely not, I don't think. I bet there's people that disagree with me. Now, if I were to line it up with that pole in the end. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't mind that. Now, noise. It's just gonna be there. There's, I'm not gonna work on it to remove it. It's already really noisy from the get-go. I'd be happy with this. Maybe give it a little bit more contrast. Just fine tune everything. And again, this is just personal taste. So I get it, there would be a million different edits for this picture. 
but this is how I would end up with it. So let's check the before and after. Obviously without the crop, keep that in mind. I wonder if Mark is gonna go for a black and white in this case. I'm curious to find out. So this would be my edit. Thank you so much, Gordon, for submitting your photo. Right. Well, what a great frame to finish off this uh, sports editing uh, episode number four before we move on to landscapes and bits and bobs. So uh, I've never done skateboarding. I'd love to have a go at this. But uh, anyway, this is from Darren Francis. Thanks for sending it in, Darren. Great image, great frame. Right, cropping. I'm going to take. I'm going to go quite tight. I'm going to take. I think it's going to end up being a square frame. I think. Let's leave a bit of space there and a little space. Obviously, he must be going this way. I presume he's come up and he's going this way. So I'm going to leave a bit of gap here. He's going to leave. He's going to leave a little bit more than I would on the other side. Not a lot. Being a bit picky. Now then. It's great that his mates are watching, but I think I'm going to go to about there like that. Again, do you leave the ramp in? But if you leave the ramp in, you're leaving all this sort of tatty backdrop. And I think the trees, the mountains, although we've got a, a store here or whatever it is, a sports centre, we've also got the mountain and, and these trees. Now then, this tree and this lamppost... I know Gordon's probably on a wide angle, but I'm going to go with this horizon because it looks like this tree's leaning as well, and this one. Although this lamppost is also going in, which is what the wide angled lens would do, because I've cut these bits out, both these trees look to be leaning. So I'm just going to bring them round. So I'm going to bring it round a bit. Obviously, we're still going to get the element of wide angle, but I'm going to keep bringing it round, keep bringing it round a bit until that lamppost is nearly or well, that tree is nearly vertical there we are look so the other trees now coming in so we'll tow it into about that I think let's have a look at that double click on that yeah this is nearly that lamppost there is vertical these trees this side were starting to come in this way that tree's still going in that way a bit because it's on the widey I'm happy with that that looks vertical there the, the corner edge of that building so I'm going to leave it at that right let's have a look at that well, that's a great frame let's give it some real punch get that blue sky out perhaps let's just give it some overall look at his knee bleeding <laughs> let's take it to 10 and now let's go to blues see if we can bring a bit of that blue sky out perhaps I don't know yeah yeah boy oh not too much on the the backdrop's going a bit blue as well but let's go to 30 let's leave it at 31 that's okay how about shadows right we're at two minutes 40 but i'm going to go to town on this because it's the last one of the episode camera raw shadows on his face a bit let's see what we can do with them yeah that's nice and it's not it's not overpowering anything else i'm just going to take the shadows up a, i'm just going to take them down to 25 leave it at 26 let's leave it at that what I am going to do is go back to Command U and I'm just going to take the reds down a bit. Sometimes when you add shadows, I found, especially in my football shots, you add some shadows, take the shadows out rather, and it also gives quite a lot of reds. So I'm just going to take some reds out of his skin a bit. Let's go to minus five. That's all right. Let's just have a look at the old contrast. Three and a half minutes. Crikey. No, that's too much. Let's just go to 15 on that. Right. I'm going to give this a bit of punch with some clarity, I think. What we're looking like. Oh, yeah, that's giving it a bit of anger, isn't it? Let's go to 15 on that. What I am going to do quickly, I know, I wonder if David will use a gradient tool, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try and just burn this bottom in a bit. Just give one last pass. I think that's too much. That's okay. That's before. I'm just going to do that pass again. I don't think it was quite consistent. That's it. That looks good. I wonder if we can just burn in there. Burn in a bit there. Yeah, I'm happy at that. That's good, that. Jobs are good. Four minutes, 30. Crikey. 
I wonder if we can just dodge his face in a bit. Let's have a quick go, just a quick go. One click there, one click there. That'll do. Right, let's check the levels. Yep, they're looking all right. That's okay, skateboard's looking good. Do we need any sharpness? No, we've given it some clarity. I quite like that, I like it. I might just, tell you what I might just do. I'm getting really fussy, but it's the last sporting one. Let's just take that in a bit there. That gives the element that he's going that way. Five minutes four, oh well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Trees look good. Mountains are right in the background, cloud. We could burn that cloud in a bit with a bit of luminance, but we'll, we'll... Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's just go in, make sure there's no dust spots or anything. No. Darren keeps his camera sensor nice and clean. Oh, what's that there? Just there, look. Let's get the old spot healing brush again. There, look. That white bit. Let's just take that out. Being fussy. Lovely job. Five minutes, 47. That's probably my longest frame. Oh, it is the end of the episode, so. Right, let's get that saved. Over to you, David. And last but not least, Darren Francis. Skateboarding picture. Love how close you are uh, to this guy. I, I wonder how close you really were. Uh, let's just see the 14 to 24. So quite wide angle, but still must have been really, really close. Uh, Nikon, okay. So anyway, on the crop. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that to last, to be honest. Um, I'm going to work on the image first and then and go. Yeah, that's blood. Look at that. Look at the detail. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Dirty nails and everything. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Now let's work on the, on the picture itself. Uh, contrast. Start slow because I'm going to abuse, so to speak, on the other um, attributes. And then we might go back to it in a little bit. Okay, the shadows definitely raise them a little bit. Whites. Yes. No, I need to be careful. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna stop there for now. Blacks. Yep. I want this this guy to pop. And I think the the colors will really bring him out. Now clarity, I'm gonna go way above what I usually go for because I think it just calls for it in this in this picture. It's calling out, give me some clarity. So I shall do that. Vibrance, the same. I really, really wanna make this guy pop even further. It's tech sharp though, it's beautiful, beautiful picture. Okay, I might be going a little bit overboard, but I like it though. Exposure raise it just a little bit. Okay, now let's see what um, lens correction does in this case. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna. Actually, I'm not sure. No, I'm gonna keep it in. I'm gonna keep it in. Okay, now crop-wise. Need to bring it in. I, I, I'm gonna go one by one, because this on Instagram would look killer. No. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go as a shot. Bring it in. Great, now you can hear my cat. She wants food. Just gonna have to wait because the edits are more important. <laughs> okay. Now, do I leave the trees or not? The, the guys or not? No, I'm just gonna leave the trees. So it gives a feeling that he's jumping really, really high because you cannot tell where the ground is. You have a, you can have a guess. But yeah, I would 
crop it like this, maybe a little bit higher because of that helmet over there, that, this guy. And I don't want to cut off the skateboard. So something like this, I think. So let's check the before and after. Yeah, he, he is coming out quite a bit more. The colors look a, little, a lot more vibrant. So this would be my edit. Let's see what Mark did to the picture. Or maybe you already seen it, I don't know. And uh, Darren, thank you so much for submitting the photo. Who's winning? Team Lightroom or Team Photoshop? Leave it, leave a comment down below, guys. Well, our jobs are good and another great episode with five different crops again and some different tones and, and, and bits and bobs and some different editing. But I'm pretty sure that Photoshop won that episode, definitely. I think uh, Photoshop came on top to uh, end the sports collaboration. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I must get some Lightroom stuff done. <laughs> I need to practice. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching the episode four, guys. Don't forget, get your images sent in for episode five anything goes so get them sent in emails in the description below and uh, look forward to receiving your images so yeah spot on thanks for watching guys take care catch up soon